Hey, being on your own isn't always a bad thing. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top five best things about being an only child. I've made my family disappear. Yeah! For this list, we'll be looking at the perks of being an only child. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. It may not be everything it's cracked up to be, but there are times when the sibling-free lifestyle is hard to beat. We better get back now, Joey. No, Joey can stay here for a while if you'd like. Could I? Okay, if you don't get in the way. Number 5. You're comfortable around adults. When most toddlers, kids, and teens were staring at their feet and mumbling, overwhelmed by the pressure of talking to bona fide grown ups, an only child is as cool, calm, and collected as can be. Why? Because kicking it with adults is kinda their thing. An only child has as many arranged playdates and group activities as the next, but realistically, time with other kids is the exception rather than the rule. Plus, onlys often hone in a wicked mature sense of conversation at a young age. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black like my man. With your parents and their adult friends serving as your regular company, adults never become intimidating others. They were just people. No kids table for you. You held your own with the grown-ups. Number 4. Your friends were like siblings to you. When it comes out that someone is an only child, people tend to react with sympathy, as if their lack of siblings left them deprived. Would it be nice to have a playmate on hand at all times? Sure. But as with anything else, scarcity cultivates appreciation. Now it's my job to look out for you, right? You're like a sister to me. As an only child, chances are that the friends you made just meant that much more to you. Without brothers or sisters, there was room in your heart to extend the same level of affection, care, and attachment to people you weren't related to. As an added bonus, your parents probably half adopted your best friend in the process, making them truly feel welcome and part of the family. Number 3. Your imagination is top-notch. Do siblings keep things interesting? Definitely. But in their absence, a child learns to entertain themselves and develop a relationship with an ally that will go on to help them for the rest of their lives. Imagination. As an only child, maybe you crafted a well-developed imaginary friend. Maybe you embarked on solo adventures in the fantastical world of your mind. Or maybe you wrote fun, clever short stories, or dreamed up plays or zany movie ideas. Buzz, shoot your laser at my badge! What do you know? I'll kill you! Just do it! However you did it, you learned to create your own fun in the absence of company. Number 2. You're independent and comfortable alone. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by solitude? Have you ever adopted a cat because your significant other went away for the weekend and you just couldn't handle being the only living creature in the apartment? Well, you probably weren't an only child. With siblings, alone time can prove a rare commodity. As a result, when finally exposed to a solitary life, many can find the experience utterly crushing. As an only child, you likely got plenty of alone time, and so it doesn't feel strange or isolating. Furthermore, without siblings, you're probably quite competent at operating solo, whether it's making decisions or taking care of yourself. What's up, Seems you're my only. Number 1. You didn't have to share. And it's mine, mine. Anyone who grew up with siblings knows that while learning to share is an important life lesson, having to share everything can get seriously frustrating. Caring, sharing, every little thing that we are wearing. As an only child, chances are you were happy to share with your friends when they came over, be it your toys, clothing, or treats. Because for you, scarcity wasn't an issue. You didn't have to defend your Halloween candy from your siblings. So of course, you were willing to pass it around when entertaining. Also, can we talk about the backseat of the car? There are some things that no one wants to share, and that's okay. Shut up! <sighs> Shut up! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.